I've worked as a caseworker for Big Brothers Big Sisters in the Partners for Kids program at Abbott School for one year now. I'm involved with the Partners for Kids program. It started 12 years ago. A group of principals came together feeling frustrated over their teachers not being able to teach. Everyone was focused on the social needs of the kids, on whether they'd eaten or not, whether they were going through a crisis in their family, and really there wasn't enough room in the day to meet those educational goals. So some principals came together and said, you know what, we need to address this. They approached United Way and Partners for Kids was born. Partners for Kids program provides a holistic view, bringing social supports into the school so that the school can focus on their learning, their educational goals, while a family therapist can focus on any needs they might have in that area. A mentor caseworker can bring positive adults in their lives, and the Hot Lunch program can feed them and help them with their nutrition. So at our Partners for Kids program schools, we meet with a group called the Circle of Support. Our family therapist, our principal, teachers, uh, myself, the caseworker, our roots and wings worker. We come together and we can bring a child who might be having concerns in school or at home to the table and we can say, okay, how can we use their strengths and build them up so that they're supported? They can focus on a little bit of the learning that the child might be having challenges with, but then they're doing reading and playing games and building on the child's strengths, really making them confident and comfortable in their school environment. My colleague has this beautiful story, um, a young girl that she had matched. From her understanding as a caseworker, this student had perfect attendance because she was always there on the day meeting her mentor. And they went to a circle of support meeting and she discovered while well, this student had wretched attendance, had a real history of not being around, but she so valued this time that she had with her mentor that she made sure she was there for those days. We work in an area that comes with uh, some sh social challenges. Uh, the school I'm at right now is ranked for highest in social vulnerability, but there's a lot of amazing stuff happening too, and that's the point of Partners for Kids within the community, is to really focus on those positives and the great things happening. And every time we get another positive adult into those school hallways, it's another example of how someone can succeed and uh, how they can overcome challenges in their lives. A lot of these adults come with stories themselves of tough times they've faced and what they did to overcome them. The consistency of someone coming week after week just to be together with a child is a real influence. Children who are in areas where there's a high level of social vulnerability have more chances of not completing high school, have more challenges with their reading levels, have uh, less success when they're um, dealing with friends socially. One positive adult who is modeling these friendship uh, skills, uh, doing these activities and just being an all-around caring person in their lives has shown uh, to improve their reading levels, to improve their social skills. They're more likely to complete high school. They're more likely, if their family's on social assistance, to move to a position where they're not on social assistance. Part of my job is matching magic. Looking at a student, seeing um, what they like, what their interests are, um, what activities they enjoy, and matching that with an adult who has similar ones and might link up. So I had this young boy, grade six, long hair hanging over his face, ACDC hat always pulled down low. You really didn't get much eye contact from him, not much connection. But I did learn in speaking with him that he had a passion for guitar. He and his father both shared an interest in music. And I had a volunteer, retired gentleman, long hair always pulled back in a ponytail, who I knew had an affinity for music as well. I thought these two will have a lot in common to share. And sure enough, they did. They had their match meeting, and right from the get-go, they were talking about the music they liked, uh, bands they'd listened to. And throughout the friendship, the volunteer continued to introduce the boy to new styles of guitar music. Uh, this was a real key point in their friendship. Uh, beyond this, though, they did a lot of reading together, they played games together, and I really saw a different boy at the end of the year. A boy who would look up at me, tell me uh, what he was doing and what activities he liked. 
Edmonton is a great place to live. We have great people here who love to contribute financially and with their time and in so many different ways. And you feel that. You feel that when you're out on the streets and you feel that when you're in schools like mine. Every favor builds up the pillars of the world. And I think that's just a beautiful saying. Um, as we give, we just make our world a very wonderful, strong, and positive place to be.